In today's Men 22 video, I'm going to be breaking down what I would argue with anybody is probably one of the better uh, base calls or base defenses that you can have against the gun bunch, the trips, the U trips, the uh, the bunch tight end, pretty much any uh, offense that you can think of. This is a pretty decent coverage, and uh, we're going to talk about why in this video. Now, if you're new to the channel, I want to ask you to go ahead and to click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel. And it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day here on the YouTube channel. Also, want to let you know that if you enjoy this breakdown, we're in the 46 playbook. We'll be talking about the 335 wide defense. And if you want to get all of my Madden ebooks, you can do that by joining the Patreon. So for just $10 a month, you'll be able to get access to not only the full 335 wide ebook, but also 14 additional offensive and defensive ebooks that can help you become a better player. So I'm going to link all of that stuff in the description. And again, if you want to sign up, it's only $10. You can cancel uh, your membership whenever you want. But as long as your membership's active, you get all the ebooks and any of the updates to them, any of the new ebooks, all that stuff. I'm going to put a link to that in the description if you're interested. Okay, guys, uh, let's take a look here. So this is out of the 335 wide. Uh, but what we want to do is we want to put safeties in at linebacker. So you see here, I've, I hit the triangle button and then I just sub in safeties right here and the cool part is you don't have to set an audible to run this it's actually really simple and that's why i like it so much so the setup is really easy so what we're going to do is we're going to audible down to mike blitz zero and what i like about this cover zero defense is we're just going to press our coverage and then we're going to put both of our linebackers in curl flat zones and then we're going to put the defensive in on the same side as the running back into a bluff blitz and what this is going to do is we're going to get really good sheds um, hopefully in the interior of the defensive line but we're also going to have pretty good coverage to boot that as well so what you'll see right here is you're just going to primarily use her over the middle of the field and as you can see pretty much everything uh, was bagged on that play now let's say for example they want to audible uh, over to pa boot over you're just going to flip your uh, defensive setup just like this, but it's exactly the same, except this time our bluff blitz is gonna be on the right side. So you see here, I like to crash my lineup. I do think you get better sheds if you crash your line up. So I like to crash them up before I do the three rack. But as you see, pretty much everybody is banned up. And at the snap of the ball, you'll see here, your user alert is gonna go here to the post. And as you can see, uh, Mike Evans has deep out elite, by the way, and Eric Stokes is basically bagging him in man coverage. So um, it's real simple, real, real simple defense, but it's really, really effective. This is also a defense that I like against gun uh, trips tied in or gun tray. I'll show you what this looks like real quick. So if we run kind of the traditional setup here, and what this defense does is it kind of simplifies your user responsibilities. Your user responsibilities come significantly easier uh, to accomplish. So again, here it is, Mike Blitz zero, crash your line up, um, and then you're gonna put both of your outside linebackers into curl flat zones, and then lastly, you're going to put the, the defensive end on the same side as the running back into a bluff blitz. You're gonna stand right about here, because this is gonna imitate as if you're gonna send pressure, and then what you'll see here is, oh, I see a crosser, I'm gonna take him, and now I've got you know decent coverage right there, and they're gonna have to work the ball up and down the field. It's really hard for them to get one play scores uh, on this defense, to be honest with you, because your user can kind of help that significantly. For example, the number one route you're going to get is some type of post. And as you see, I can just simply user that post route just like that. So really simple defense. And then let's say, for example, what they'll start doing is they'll start running these little running back out routes and little quick routes to the flat. Well, once they start doing stuff like that, then just run the blitz. And you'll see here, we get real fast pressure. And as you see, the defense is really simple, but at the same time, it's really effective. And again, what you want to be mindful of with this defense is you don't always have to put a purple zone. So let's say, for example, that your opponent is running a lot of low ball wheels. Okay, so he's running a lot of low ball wheels. Well, instead of purples, let's put vert hooks. Okay, so we're gonna put both of our linebackers in vert hooks. Now we've got people in the area to defend the wheel routes. So you see kind of how we can kind of customize this a little bit. 
uh, to suit what they're doing. You know, if they're going to run an out route to the left side, but maybe we're, you know, protecting it with that vert hook on that side. Or I'll give you an example. So they go something like this. Whoops, I need to put them on fade. So we go something like this right here. Well, now we've got a vert hook for the running back and a three rack. But we also have, if you take a look here, we can kind of have this purple out here to guard that out route. And so, again, we're just kind of putting ourselves in positions uh, to make plays. And really this defense, if you think about it, is entirely a Bimba don't break style. We're trying to Bimba don't break. So when you think about what your user responsibility is, if you see a deep skinny post on the field, you want to be back in here so that you can get back on this post. Because if he does beat him in man, now you're able to help. Okay, uh, but this is a real simple defense. It's really effective though. And like I said, it's you know this bluff blitz is really one of the keys to this defense. You don't have to come down underneath, right? You don't have to come down underneath. So let's say they run verticals on you. You're gonna get vertical. Oh, there's just a crosser. Okay, I'll take it. And as you see. That's one of the best plays in the game, and we're going to force them to have to check it down. So, again, this is just something simple, but it's a really good base defense. If you're playing against people that are kind of running random formations, uh, this is one of my favorite defenses because it's just straight to the point. You literally just took two purples, a bluff blitz. You can shade up if you want to, um, but I don't normally need to. I don't find that I give up a ton of bombs on this, especially if you have good corners. But if you don't have good corners, you can shade over the top. The one formation I will say that I do like to shade over the top on is uh, gun tight. And I'm going to explain why real quick. So uh, typically from gun tight, you're going to get a concept that probably looks something like this, right? You know, something like this, or they're going to do double wheels, okay? So what I like to do, um, what I like to do on this is I'm going to shade... I'm going to flip here, but anyways, I'm going to shade over top. And what this is going to do is it's going to prevent the rub routes from really doing anything to me. I'm still going to put the three rec on the same side as the running back, but you see right here, now we've shaded up, and we're just trying to get to the crosser. Because uh, typically, gun tight, that's what's going to beat you in man, is the crossers. Okay? So uh, that's pretty much it for the video today, guys. want to thank you for watching. You want to get the whole defense Grab the Patreon. The Patreon is linked in the description below. The cool part about the Patreon is it gets you access to all of my ebooks. So I've got 15 offenses and defenses. We're going to be updating that shortly over the coming uh, in the coming weeks. Uh, we got a couple of. I think I'm going to put a new video out today in the Patreon. So be on the lookout for that uh, if you're a member. But if you haven't joined the Patreon yet and you would like to, it's only ten dollars a month, and you can do that by clicking the link in the description. I'm going to put it down there. All you got to do is head down to the description and click the link and you can go over and join the membership. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys uh, later.